Hey everyone, my name's Kristen and welcome to my cathedral garden. If you're new here, I'm a former elementary education major and teacher who has now turned into a homeschooling mama to four kids. I have a fourth grader, a second grader, a kindergartner, and then we have a little three-year-old and um, who just adds to the fun. Today, I thought it would be good to just kind of give a um, recap of our January, just really for my own personal um, like knowledge, but also just to let you know, like here were some of the things I was wanting to do and here's where I either met that expectation or fell short, mostly fell short. Um, and just to kind of uh, end the month of January and reevaluate. And I feel like a lot of the time, um, we can make these goals at the beginning of the year, but then I never really stop to think about them again, honestly. And so the heart and the reason behind this video is kind of for that, to kind of force myself to go back and say, what did I say I was gonna do? And look and see if I, if I remembered it, if I met that expectation or not. So come join me. Okay. So I actually did not make a January goals video just for the month of January. I do want to make those and get them out at the beginning of every month. So that's gonna be one goal that I have for February and the rest of the year. But um, I did not do that for January because I did my goals for 2021 and it just it was a lot of goal videos and um, sometimes that just kind of overwhelms me. So I didn't do one for January, but that's okay because I did go back and listen to my 2021 goals that I did put up in January. And I'm just gonna go off that and kind of give a little recap of how I did, how we did, and um, what I want to try to do better in. So, um, let's see here. In um, my January 2021 goals video, I talked about how I wanted to read more and how I wanted to read 24 to 40 books this year and the um, video I did about mom book favorites, I set my Goodreads goal at 36 and that would be three books a month. And I believe I have finished two. We've got a few days left in January, so hopefully I can finish up that third one and kind of be on track there. So um, that is something I feel like I have done okay in. I'm not, I'm not reading as fast or as much as I want to be, but one thing that has um, changed and gotten better and I've been enjoying lately that I haven't ever done before is getting up early. So I have made sure that since I've had small children that they did not wake up at the crack of dawn. It took a lot of training, but I'm not naturally a morning bird. Um, and so I really worked on making sure my kids um, knew how to at least stay in their room until we come and get them in the mornings. And that has been so beneficial because now I do, I'm not having to wake up at five to be up before them. Um, I can wake up at six or 6.30 and still have an hour to myself, um, which has been so amazing. It's been great. That really started at Christmas time. And honestly, I think it was just um, the pull of the twinkle lights uh, with the Christmas tree and just that calm and that stillness and that quiet and I just found so much peace um, in, in that little hour, hour and a half um, snippet that I could not give it up. So um, I'm happy to say that that actually has still been going strong for the first time really in my adult or really just my life in general. I've always been Hold on, I've got to go wipe a bottom. Okay, so that is reading. That has actually gone really, really well. Um, so I'm thankful for that. And um, let's move into our homeschooling goals and what all has happened in January. So I really feel like we came back and just hit our stride in January, which is such a good feeling. We are starting to like move just in more of a routine. Now, granted, I'm still saying, okay, it's time to do your math. Okay, let's do this. But um, it's moving quicker 
Uh, my second grader is beginning to read much more fluently and can um, kind of be able to read his own instructions and things like that. That always makes life easier. Um, so I am thankful that um, that part is getting easier. We're starting to go faster. So I am super grateful for that. What I would like to do for, um, well, that's gonna be a February video. I'm super, I'm super grateful for that. Um, one of the things that uh, we have not done as well is cultivating their own interest as much. So I am going to be looking into ways to fix this and maybe like lead out on that in some way, um, probably by searching for a uh, unit study that we can do together and kind of maybe uh, learn together what that means to research something, to learn about one specific thing um, that is not the three R's, you know, writing, reading, and arithmetic type of deal. So um, I think, honestly, I'm not really sure how to do that, and I know I haven't taught them how to do that. So I am looking forward to that, and I'm going to talk about that in my February video of how I'm hoping to accomplish it. So be on the lookout for that one. Um, so that is one thing that we did not really do as, as well as I wanted to, but hopefully there will be a solution coming. Um, as far as homemaking um, goals, I did bake more bread, slightly more, I think two loaves. <laughs> and I did bake um, some cookies and things like that. So. The whole month did not go by without me doing something or making something in the kitchen besides just dinners and lunches, you know, the necessities, which is good. That was my goal. Um, I do want to get into more of a routine like I was talking about in my video for the year because um, I don't feel like it's down, down to a routine yet. It's just, this is what I wanted to do, so I figured out a way to make it happen instead of, okay, we're gonna eat muffins. So I'm gonna make muffins and I'm gonna make that on a weekly basis. You know what I mean? So um trying to get into more of a routine. Maybe maybe it needs to be giving myself a tangible goal. Sometimes I don't do well with that because I'm like, oh no, what if I fail? Um and I don't like that feeling. So then I just don't set the goals, which might be the whole reason I'm failing. <laughs> so we're gonna try this. Maybe um Every once, you know, every week and a half having muffins. So like muffins three times throughout the month of February or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but stay tuned to the February video and I'll have it figured out hopefully by then. <laughs> so, um, I did do better. I want to do more. Um, yeah, if that makes sense. Okay. And then, um, some things that are upcoming that are, that will be changing and will have an impact on um on our year moving forward and maybe help me to get to reach some of these goals is our uh we ordered a printer an epson eco tank printer and i am stoked it was actually supposed to be here yesterday but instead it will be here on monday um which is just good timing with a new month ahead so that will be good i'm also changing up our morning menus we did really well i have loved the New City Catechism. Let's talk about that for a minute. So, morning menus have gone really well um, this this past month. I did not ever get a new verse, and I did not put the prayer request thing in there that I said I was going to from Abby from Rooted in Rest, if you've seen her uh, morning menus video. So, that is going to happen. I'm going to switch things over, and I'm actually putting out a video on my um, new content that will be going into my morning menus for February. So I'm getting it. We're going to get a new poem and a new hymn and we are going to, I'm going to put in those two things and get a new verse. It will be happening. It's going to happen. So, um, that will be new. What will stay the same are our mottos, our verse for the, for our year, for our school. Um, and then we will continue on with our new city catechisms. And guys, that has gone so well. We focus on one question per week. And I can even look at my little three-year-old and say, um, 
what is our only hope in life and death? And she will go, that we are not our own, but belong to God. She will actually sing the song back to me. And then I can look at my eight-year-old and say, what is God? And he can look at me and see, he'll probably sing the song back to me, but he'll say, God is the creator of everyone and everything. And every day we just go over the question, the answer, we sing the song that goes with it. I read them the verse that corresponds with that particular truth. And then they have a little commentary section and I'll just read them little snippets. It might take us two minutes total. Um, and the point right now, while they are this small, is not complete understanding. I mean, we spoke, we talked about the Trinity one week. Adults don't understand the Trinity. So it's not necessarily that they are understanding exactly what the phrases they are saying mean and how that affects their lives, you know, and all of these grand things and ideas that I am having the joy of thinking about myself as an adult. But the point is that they know it and they can say it and they can ponder it as they grow and as their minds develop more. It will already be in their heart. So that is what I'm after. Not necessarily complete understanding because I don't, they're just not at that right age. But the knowledge getting down into their hearts, that's what I'm after right now. So that's why it only takes two minutes because I mean, you can, uh, theology, you can unpack a lot, but for right now, two to three minutes has been great. We also have taken our Christmas cards and we are pulling out one every week and praying for that particular family. And that has been so much fun. I usually pray, we, well, I usually have them pray for that family so they can get into the habit of praying for others. And then towards the end of the week, I will, um, if I know that family more on a personal level, like sometimes you get Christmas cards and you're like, I'm not on a texting basis with you, but a lot of them I am. And so I will text them and say, hey, we pulled out your Christmas card and we have been praying over you this week. Just thought um, I would let you know that someone is praying and thinking about you. Is there anything we can be praying for specifically? And I make sure that I let them know it's me and my children, you know, so because some things, you know, adults can share with one another, but you know, kids don't need to know. So um, that has been a huge blessing and it's something I've said I wanted to do every year and just haven't but now there's a time and a spot for it and I'm glad so um, those have gone really really well um, we are adding in some new writing and things for the upcoming month so once again that will be in February I'm going down the list mentally in my head and I think I think that's about it guys so Thanks so much for coming along, for helping me to be accountable. We had a really good January. We really did. And January is not always easy, especially for me. Um, there's not a whole lot of natural light in the house that we live in right now. Um, it's kind of choppy and it faces the wrong way. So there's not, it doesn't really get morning or evening light. You know what I mean? It's, and there's just not a lot of windows. And the one window that we do have, for instance, in our living room, um, it's covered by the back patio like completely so there's no natural light that gets in there at all there's a that's it so winter here can be hard for me in this house <laughs> but this january has been so good and i think it was the effort that i put forward going into um the month so that really does give me some motivation to continue on oh yes i did not organize a single thing either so failing in that area too. All right. I think that's it. Thank you all so much for tagging along. Um, if you want to, you can uh, find me on Instagram and I just kind of pop in and out of there randomly, uh, mostly on stories. I'm trying to get better at posts. It's just my brain. So um, and come say hello. I love talking to y'all there and um, kind of meeting new people and all those things. Um, and you can comment below and let me know how you have done in January, how you feel you've done. And um, if you don't mind uh, hitting the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And um, I will see you next time. All right. Bye, guys.